Morning News. I'm your host, Abby Bertinoli. Now let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today for lunch we'll be having brunch. This includes scrambled eggs with French toast, eggs with a biscuit, cheese stick, crackers, and an uncrustable Tater babies, <laughs> baked apples, seasonal fruit, a chef salad, and a cookie. The spring play will be held on Thursday and Friday, April 28th, is the PM show at 7.30. And the 29th, which will be the day show throughout school. Training for the Henry Clay Color Guard will be March 18th from 5.37. Anyone interested in this should participate. See Ms. Kite if you have any questions. Attention students, the yearbook committee needs your help. There will be a section in the yearbook for teacher superlatives this year and we are asking you to help choose the teachers that are chosen. There is a separate survey for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students that are located on the homework webpage for that grade level. If you are having trouble locating the survey, please see Mr. Bishop for 6th grade, Ms. Literal for 7th grade, or Mr. Living Good for 8th grade. There is also a survey to vote for front office superlatives. This is located on the Edith J. Hayes webpage under Student Life. Then select the tab that reads Front Office Superlatives. This survey will take active until next Monday, March 21st. Please vote. Art club meets after school unless Mr. Bennett says otherwise. We meet in the art room, room 513 on Thursdays from general dismissal until 545. Our club is open to anyone who likes drawing and is focused on art, not socializing. Some days we have projects and other days we just free draw. These are the kind of things we would do in art club. This um, is from one of the other times before. Yeah. It's really fun, so come on down. <laughs> is a five-hour no-sitting marathon. Over the past two years, we have raised over $12,000 for the kids. We say for the kids, we mean the amazing kids at the Dance Booth Kentucky, Children's Hospital, Pediatric Oncology, Hematology Clinic that fight for lives every day. Dance Booth Panthathon is an event that shows that the students at Hayes stand up for those fighters. We stand for more birthdays. We stand for our cure. We stand for the battle with the boy. And as we stand together, we know that one day, cancer will be a memory, not a reality. We fundraise and plan all school year for those five hours. We dance, sing, and sometimes cry, and at the same time, we become something much bigger than ourselves. Each student who walks into the gym leaves much different than when they arrive. Some call Dance Blue Pandas on the best night of the year. Become a part of something that changes you while you change the lives of others. Decide, work, and inspire to make a difference. Stand with us. Let's change the world. If you're ready for Dance Blue Panther Thons, change you. We can't do it without you. The 2016 Dance Blue Panther Thon is Friday, April 22nd from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the 8th gym. You can pick up more information and a registration form from Ms. Russell or Ms. Hamlin. We hope you'll be part of the best night of the year.
Good morning, students. Here we are in the reading room again. Well, actually, I'm not in the reading room. I'm out on the beach. I'm getting ready for spring break, just like you will be in a few days. And the book I've chosen to bring with me to the beach this week is called Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. This is a great book about a young lady who is destined to find her true path in life. It is based in the futuristic world of a place called Norta, and in the place of Norta, your blood determines your destiny. And there are people that have silver blood, and they possess supernatural powers, and there's also the red bloods. And the red bloods are the ones who are the servants to those with silver blood. Now, Mare, she has been hired to work at the palace. She's 17 years old, and she discovers that she has powers all of her own that no one else knew about. But the king discovers that she has these powers, and he is trying to capture her, and so he is going to keep her and force her to marry his son. And this is where the conflict of the story begins to come together. Mare is pulled into a life and death struggle, and she's battling for the crown, and the main thing she's trying to do is hold on to her heart. And can she also hold on to her head while she's doing it? Learn daily, laugh often, lead respectfully, and live responsibly. Laugh often means to me to always have a smile on your face, even when life gets really tough, and just to look ahead on life and not look back. 